Okay, carrot cake. Couldn't be easier. Um, 175 grams of sugar, light muscovado sugar, 175 mils of sunflower oil, three large beaten eggs into a mixing bowl, stir it up, stir in 140 grams great carrots, 100 grams of raisins, and the grated zest of a large orange. Sift into that 175 grams soft raisin flour, teaspoon bicarb of soda, teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon grated nutmeg, mix it all together, pour it into a prepared tin, bake it for 40 to 45 minutes uh, until it feels firm and springy, cool it in the tin for 5 minutes and then turn it out. Peel off the paper and cool on a wire rack. Uh, preparing the tin involves um, oiling and lining with baking parchment, an 18 centimetre square tin. Oven on to 180 degrees, fan 160. Here we go. <coughs> so that is 175 grams of light muscovado. I'm going to add to that. And that would be 175 mils of sunflower oil. That would be three large beaten eggs. And then, couldn't be easier. That will become 140 grams of grated carrot. That would be uh, 140 carrots. No, two carrots grated to be 140 grams of grated carrot. That would be 100 grams of raisins added. You have to assume that the uh, grated zest of an orange has already gone in. Um, and what we've got here is we've got some nutmeg, which we're going to grate. Um, half a teaspoon of grated nutmeg, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, um, one teaspoon of bicarb of soda, and that's 175 grams of self raising flour. So that's all going to go in next. So that's the self raising flour, teaspoon of bicarb, teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, ready to go in. Slightly out of sequence, but that's the zest of uh, two oranges, because I like oranges. Recipe only calls for one. We use the juice later to make the icing. So that's the zest in, um, and that's what it looks like just before we stir in the flour, which we're going to do next. Recipe calls for the flour to be sieved in, but I just pour it in and give it a good stir. So now that's mixed in, I'm going to pour that into the greased and lined container. There we go. That's what it looks like. So the oven's on at 160 for fan, 180 for normal. Just let the oven warm up. And then we'll pop this in for, how long does it take? Uh, 40 to 45 minutes until it's firm and springy. That's what 175 grams of icing sugar looks like. I'm going to uh, turn that into icing by adding some of the orange juice. And I'll drink the rest. So that's the icing mixed. To dribble over that and that's the cake which is now ready to go in to the old oven. Put that in there. Put 45 minutes on the old clock. And wait and see. Oh and that's the washing up at the end of everything. Well that's it, that way through, it's risen quite a lot actually, um, very nice, how long have we got to go, 30 minutes, okay, 
Well, that's after 45 minutes. I'm going to leave it to cool now for 5 or 10 minutes and then I'll lift it out onto the wire tray and we'll chuck some icing on it. Yummy. Well, here we are, back to the cake. It's alright, doesn't it? One cake. Done.